but let me start now because our time is moving uh, later on for welcome parents or even those who wants to know more about the school you are invited for our q a clarification time after this talk once this um meeting is over the zoom meeting will automatically shut off just continue to uh, use the same id number and the password to continue for our question and answer clarification time okay so everyone is invited no worries with that okay joining me right now is our school directress miss elnora yao as well as our some of our teachers are with us so Thank you, and parents, and even those who are not belonging to Welka community, you are very welcome. So I'm still admitting so many people coming in. Thank you very much. So, um, okay, I'll start. For our topic this afternoon is about proven successful technique in raising children. So with that, um, I'm your school principal, education, consultant expert. So allow me to share to you, uh, the purpose of this meeting is to introduce the school with some Light Christian Academy and add value to our parents. While you are in your home, respective home with your children, how we can raise our children successfully. So before that, uh, let me show you this short, less than three minute video about the school. Wait, huh? Okay. According to most of the experts, developing one's character and discovering your God-given gifts, plus a good and quality education, can propel your kids into early success. This morning, we visit Wisdom by Christian Academy and see for ourselves can this be possibly a thing in just one institution. Let's see. Well, huh? There's something going on at the side. Wait. Okay. Hi guys, we're here with Mrs. Mary Kathleen Wong, and she's the principal of the Life Christian Academy. Hi, Kathy, how are you? Hello. How are you? Kathy, would you please tell us uh, about this school? This school is a school where it's like a family, because I used to be a parent before I became a school principal. And in a nutshell, it's a place like home. Okay, I'll stop share for a while because I'm thinking there is something background. Can you hear the background? Wait, uh, I turn off. 
something okay sorry for for that okay i'll continue uh, no 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 wait a minute stop recording ah, anyway sorry for that huh I'm sorry. So let's go back. Our topic for today is about the 10 proven successful technique in raising children. Lord, we pray for our technical things that it will go on smoothly. So bear with me for that. I'm sorry, teachers. I'm sorry, parents, for the mute. I don't know what happened. Maybe because I stick something for the speaker. Anyway, first, I know you are excited for this. Um, delaying gratification. We need to teach our kids to not just, I want this, I want that, and we are like panic how to provide all the things that our children want. Because if they are used to that, they will not develop what we call emotional intelligence. We need to raise up children right now who are resilient, who become a person with grit, meaning they can withstand challenges and stress in life. Because kids who are trained not to have instant gratification, they are more self-aware, they are reflective. Are you with me? So they are also less likely to leave, to take leave when someday they will be working. They are confident, they can build strong relationships, they are empathic, understanding, they are better in how they able to regulate stress. So here are some of the summary written and posted in the slides. So do you want your children to be like this, parents? Even teacher, do you want your student to be resilient? Right? Yes, of course, we all want this. So let's try our best to build this in our children. So when we delay instant gratification, you will experience experience long-term satisfaction in the bible it says there in james 1 2 to 3 count it all joy my brothers when you meet trials of various kinds for you know the testing of your faith produces steadfastness in other version character sometimes it's in other versions perseverance patience so let's pray that our kids will be persevering patient uh, men of character so that they know how to face trials, difficulties with joy. Secondly, let's teach our kids the value of what? Hard work. We need to train them, teach them. Um, growing up, I remember vividly how my mom raised me, uh, my parents. We are not given like baon. Instantly, Mama, I need baon for school. You know, we have to work for it. We have to, it's, it's either we get 100 perfect score in our school or exam quizzes. But you know, before I'm not really like a goody type of student, like to juice, I'm not like that. Sadly, because maybe my friends also are not like that. That's why we need to be careful to pray that our kids will have good friends, good influence. So next, uh, so what I do so I can get baon, I have to work. We have family business of dried fish like that, that in repacking business. So we have to pack, help many things so that I can have money. So because of the training that my parents did to me, uh, they raised up me, my brother, sister, to be hardworking. But it's not also good to be to the extreme that we become workaholic. So we let our children value hard work, training, learning, teaching them uh, like the value of consistency of doing like helping in the household chores like that. So I asked one of my friends, what's your uh, successful technique to your child? And they said, she said that, of course, training my children to be independent and responsible because we're not always with them. We grow old, we die, parents, so we need to be sure that our children can do things on their own. First Peter there, it's written here that trials will show that your faith is genuine when it's tested. Fire purifies gold. 
So faith remains strong, though many will bring you much praise and glory. So hard work, what you plant, you reap. So when you plant something, there's something that you can harvest. So in any success, you just can't see, but they they before they reach what they before they become valedictorian or successful in a certain field or industry they go through a lot of persistence failure sometimes because honestly we need to train our children that's why eq is very important because many people if they're not trained with high eq to be able to because when they face failure or sometimes like disappointment Kaya marami sometimes nagsisuicide kasi they cannot uh, embrace such uh, circumstances. So, before success, we have this. Hard work, dedication, like that. Uh, do you know these Chinese words uh, called crisis? It's called wei ti, right? Fei ti is the airplane. Ti there is opportunity during crisis let's not be heartbroken or be broken broken but rather through this crisis let us be what better and through this crisis we should uh, rise up even in our business so we can think what so that we can continue to provide for our families like that so crisis the word first word is danger so some people like don't do anything. They just cover themselves, close, be in the shelter of their home, do nothing. But during crisis, that's where you sharpen your soul. You have to work, prepare yourself what will come next after this. Okay? Let's help our kids to be like that. Mm. So thirdly, believe in your children. Affirmation is very important. I cannot expound much on this, but if you have time also, you can watch a YouTube by Joel Austin, like words determines your re reality. It's very nice. What the word that comes after the word I am is very important. Like you will tell your child, uh, say something. Like I told my son, say something. I am what? What's next? I am talented, I am unique, I am expressive, I am awesome, I am what? Gifted, I am industrious, I'm hardworking. You affirm, don't say negative things to your kids because if you say that, that's what is implanted in, their, in his or their mind. So you have to try to work on your words. Like um, in Proverbs, it says the gracious words are like honeycomb or pleasing healing to the bone so those words should be positive encouraging inspiring okay uh, fourth we need to shut up and pray i really like to reiterate this many times many times parents we tend to be nagging let's try to learn to lower and lessen that but rather let's shut up and pray instead Many times we also don't understand why my child becomes like this, like that. Let's just entrust. Learn to trust God. That God is in charge in every details of our life. Okay? Just me. Sometimes I don't understand why my daughter has to have this kind of anxiety when go falling asleep. He doesn't like, she doesn't like the feeling of falling asleep. So tendency, she has to go back and forth in the toilet and she take a bath many times when we are about preparing ourselves to sleep. Because the feeling of falling asleep, it makes her anxious. So with that, I have to try a lot of strategy. I learned MNRI therapy, how to put them to sleep, uh, my daughter, and many techniques like to delay and not let her do their, uh, her behavior, like going, going to toilet, going to urinate many times, even though she just urinated. You know, with God's help, before I'm affected, but now by God's grace, I am learning. Okay? So surrender our children to God. Many times, we prayer 
when we kneel kneel down and pray we are the most wonderful place in the world we are praying and interceding for our children and here are some of the bible verses you can screenshot you can look into that with your kids because right now this is the best time to instill in our children memory verses so that they keep on memorizing god's word and you know god's word is like two double-edged sword it changes their lives in a way that we beyond our imagination yes so the fifth listen and empathize very important when we talk to our children let us listen and know and be in the shoe who are we also before when we were teenagers when we are toddlers like that so parenting expert nancy salamin tamalin has great suggestion if parents want to be heard by their children they talk less the greater the amount of words that comes out of our mouth, the more children's ear and mouth, ears and mouth close. So it's very self-explanatory. If you want our kids to listen us more, let's give them questions. Just like our teacher in Wisdom Light, we train them to ask good questions to their students so that we can encourage our kids to think higher order thinking skill they solve their own problem they develop what how so kids will not just be fun fun a uh, spoon feed right now like oh our lesson for today da, 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 and you discuss actually 15 minutes is the maximum you cannot with uh, you cannot let the child or student stay for long right now. So you have to ask questions. Let them be engaged and let them think, discover. That's how it should be. Okay? So let them speak instead of you talking all the time. So ask questions. And that's how I talk to my son. Because if I'm the one talking, I he shut off. He look at his phone like this. So very important. Let's engage them by asking good questions so we listen more and empathize with them what they are going to share so let's not also be shocked let's just do our best to oh understand number six establish family routine build relationship intentionally so in your activity for the day make sure you have these essentials in your uh, to-do list making sure that you spend quality time even five minutes uninterrupted undivided attention to our loved ones to your husband yes to your children and during dinner dinner time as much as possible let's try to eat together relaxing time after dinner play time movie time let's do together call sometimes Others has their own interest, but you try to be intentional. Let you gather your family. And intentional also to let them be involved in helping household chores, okay? And very important because children are at home, whether they're having online learning through this summer with our program, or they, you are homeschooling them, make sure you have at least an hour a day every day when you are teaching your kids never do multitask focus because that's wonderful uh, moments already so that's it seven binding memories together builds intimacy so plan what is your favorite memory of your family so far you can ask your kids actually uh, children can you remember what we did as a family that you uh, unforgettable memory is it the good thing or the bad so you just listen they just share actually if you ask question they talk rather than we all do the talking so making memories with our kids fresh simply involves setting aside time and spending quality time together and let Eight, leverage from good mentors. That's why teacher are your partner. Parents, you are also teacher's partner, meaning we work hand in hand as a school in everywhere. 
hopefully we can find good mentors for our kids and we can leverage from them because parents also need to work, need to find income so they can pay tuition fee. They can uh, pay the teacher if they need extra help, right? So leverage from good teacher mentors who are supportive, active listener, who are passionate really to help your child, who are encourager. Sadly, uh, sadly, I don't like if there are teachers who see their, what they're doing as job. It should be something that you love what you're doing because this is a vocation. Being a teacher is really challenging, especially as parent educator, it's challenging. Nobody says that parenting is easy. It's hard work. It's just like marriage. It takes hard work to make a marriage work. So we have to be uh, always having that passion, that it's our passion to build strong family. It's our passion to make a difference in our ch children or students' lives and foster self-decision-making. You ask questions. What do you want? We don't impose. Oh, ne, when you grow up, huh, you should be a doctor. You should be a lawyer like that. We foster uh, decision making for our kids. Self decision making. Let's not impose what we want, but rather what our kids also like interest. So let's listen. And eventually, if you really is wanting them to do like this then why not but for mentors especially you don't impose what you want for your students or to your mentee learn godly perspective so hopefully we can find mentors that we can leverage from them who are godly okay so next modeling wow be a good example parents this is very powerful actually this 10 things that I share to you is in no particular order, like which one is better than the other. Everything has equal footing. But I believe this is very important. Children close their ears to advice, but open their eyes to example. Many are caught than taught. That's why kids learn more what they see. For example, there's a situation, how you do you react? Actually, I saw in Ted Pylon, ano na Ted Pylon? Ano, Tolfo? Yung prank-prank nila kay isang actress na who is helping. Kunohay, what the, the food that being given was spoiled. So he was, she thought she was interviewed, she will be interviewed. But, you know, anyway, to make the story short, example is very important. So how we react to situation that whether we explode or what, but rather... Stay calm. Being calm is very important. I'm also learning it because sometimes I also raise my voice to make a point. So let's learn together. We are not perfect, but with God's help, let's be the good example that our kids need right now. No? Who is passionate and able to inspire, clear set of values, commitment to community, self Lessness and acceptance of others and ability to overcome obstacles. So let's be good model to them. Lastly, but not the least, and I have succeeding slides after this. I have nine minutes left. Eat, love, and pray together. If family do this, they stay together. So I have a short video here. Please watch with me.
when I asked my husband, did you hear the the sound of the film earlier? Yeah. So when I asked my husband, no, what did you hear? Huh? In there? Right now, can you hear me? No. Can you hear me? Yes, Bo. Okay, so when I asked him, this is what he said. Eat, love, and pray together. Okay? That self-explanatory is just that we try our best every night before we go to sleep. Pray with our children. Lay hands on them. Mom Yao always remind us to bless our children. No, That's very important. Blessing our children. Yeah. I'm doing that also by faith, yeah, consistently. Okay, I think that's all for my sharing. So right now, I want to introduce to others that we still have our online summer program for those who haven't availed yet. Anytime you can join, whatever the days miss, you will be, the teacher will just add up to that lost days. Okay, then there is also batch two. So please take note of the number that you need to call or message so that you can able to avail our, of our summer program. So this is the rate for the summer online classes. Yeah, so for, for the meantime, this sped going to the house of the students is not available because of our current situation in GCQ or modified ECQ. Yeah. So praise God that we are one of the top Chinese school in the Philippines. This was uh, done last December 29, 2019, yes, that were considered as one of the 10 Chinese, top 10 Chinese school in the Philippines. To God be the glory. Amen. So for next school year, we will start on August 3. We offer, when you say traditional, you call it regular. But for the meantime, we will do an online distance learning platform. Uh, you're, it's not clear. Can you hear me? <laughs> I have four minutes left. Just in case it will stop, let's continue to add the same ID number and password that when you go into this site. Huh? If you have some further questions. So for the meantime, we just introduced next school year. We're offering also for those who wants pure and hybrid homeschooling. So for clarification, we can have another session right after this session that will, if it, this ends, we continue for some clarification on this area. And for those who like intensive um, training for teachers, for parents, educators, even for school leaders, for anyone you know who are newly married, preparing to be a parent or newly moms, they can join me here in a seven week, 40 days parent trap mastermind online coaching course. We will tackle a lot of things here that which I can itemize later on per week what we will do. But for bonus, I want to share to you also what I've learned and studied in US, the neurosensory reflex integration therapy technique, just on top of that from the topic that we will be sharing and how we can become the best parent educator that our kids could ever have. So as your inspirational speaker, um, education consultant expert and school principal of Wisdom Light, I would like to propose this seven weeks, 40 days parent trap course. So on the first week, we will be focusing on how to be committed parent educator in the five areas of our life, physical, spiritual, financial, emotional, intellectual. And for the second week, we will focus on being consistent parent educator in establishing our marriage family relationship strong by creating our family vision brand. And on the third week, we will be focusing on with being calm parent educator in creating peaceful and mindful attitude that develops our character and well-being. On the fourth week, being courageous in handling difficult and challenging behavior in our parenting with our children. On the fifth week, being competent parent educator in mastering how to become the world's greatest teacher for our child. Yes. 
And then on the six weeks, we will be talking more on how to become more than conqueror by developing our passion and what? In our community, our empathy in our communication skills. And the last week, we will be how to be confident as a parent educator by having a mentor accountability group in our journey to become the best version of ourselves. So as a graduation project, you will be able to ask to present a five minute, trans what transformation have you become after before and after the course? So, and as bonus, I will reiterate, I will share some of my technique that I've learned, the neurosensory reflex integration therapy. So this can help our students, our own children at home, even to ourselves, to our loved ones, and also to our children, most especially. This can be applied to adults, children, and young children, the best for kids of a young age, because they will be in, the intervention is earlier. Okay, so this is my certificate that I finished that and I did also one-on-one -on -one coaching from a course specialist who is already very good in this area. Actually, it's expensive, but sometimes we have to invest in learning, right? So there are new coming in, maybe they are for the next sessions, but it, maybe it will not stop. So we just continue. Just in case it stops, please join the meeting with the same uh, ID number and password, WLCA, capital letter, CARE, small letter, as the password. So again, for our online program and for next school year, you can make a reservation just in case if your money is not enough. Reservation fee is 10000 With that, you can get...